Today, many Americans are going to pause to take in a little bit of history. This will be the first total solar eclipse to sweep coast to coast across the U.S. in 99 years. Mary McGuire has her spot picked out live on a CCO rooftop, at least I think. Or is that a picture of the moon? Hard to tell. Well, Kim, the big day is finally here in just a few hours. Millions will turn their heads to the skies in an attempt to see the full or the partial eclipse of the sun. Great visual, right? Well, in the eclipse, first hits the tiny farming town of Madras, Oregon at about 1216 Central Time this afternoon. It will take about 90 minutes to travel across North America. A little bit, a uh, little bit longer than it took me to get that uh, fake moon across my face. 12 million people are lucky enough to live directly under the eclipse path of totality, which unfortunately does not include Minnesota or Wisconsin. If the clouds allow for it, we will be able to see a partial eclipse with a little more of 80% of the sun obscured. A total eclipse is a rare event, but we won't have to wait long for the next one. We're a little bit fortunate now in that we will get to observe this total solar eclipse in the United States in North America and another one in 2024. So we're not gonna have to wait another 40 years. Now those planning to look at the partial eclipse happening here in the upper Midwest should do so only with special eyewear or else their eyes could be severely damaged. Now total eclipses are not a rare phenomenon. They occur once every 18 years, but since most of the Earth's surface is covered with water, it's hard for a lot of people to actually see those eclipses. So this should certainly be a special event across the country here in Minnesota, 106 p.m. That's the time to watch. I know, Mary, you just gave us a little preview of what it could look like as the moon crosses. Yes. Uh, how long do you think this eclipse lasts? Well, in that path of totality that I was talking about from Oregon to South Carolina, that should be about two minutes. I had the idea that I should really, you know, do the 90 minute thing, but I think the show would be over by the time I got finished with that. Yeah, it would be equally fascinating, though. I would say. Right? <laughs> Mary, thank you. Well, last night in Eden Prairie, dozens of students got on a bus bound for a total eclipse location. They didn't know yesterday which way they were going, Nebraska or Wyoming, depending on cloud cover. Their astronomy teacher organized this trip for his students and their families. They are driving right back home after the eclipse. CBS News has a special report starting at noon today. They'll cover the solar eclipse from all across the country. That coverage wraps up at 2. Our new newscast is moving to 11 a.m.